I suggest to recap cost allocation topic on the basis of a small question from University of London um, final exam. This is zone A of 2019, question 10 of multiple choice section. And here we are asked to calculate selling price. But before we are able to calculate selling price, we have to calculate full cost of the units, full cost of uh, road repair for that particular case. Uh, when we talk about full cost, we normally talk about uh, several components. And the first component, the first uh, component which goes without saying, is the materials used. We have to consider all the materials, the cost of materials used for a particular job. Uh, then we have to think about direct labor. We have to calculate direct labor used for the certain job. And materials in labor, they are called prime costs. When we talk about uh, cost of production, about prime cost, we normally talk about materials and labor. And then we have to allocate overhead somehow to each unit produced uh, in the business. And that particular business is a um, building, uh, road building business. And one small road was repaired for the local council. And we have to calculate the price the company can charge to the local authorities for that particular repairs. So we have to allocate somehow overheads associated with that type of job. And um, as you know, we can use several basis for allocations. The simplest one is to allocate overheads on the basis of units produced. But since different units, different types of job requires different time and different maybe um, resources, uh, the next level of accuracy is to allocate overheads on the basis of direct labor hours or direct machine hours used for a certain job. And in that particular case, we are suggested to calculate uh, the final price, the final cost and then price of a job using both methods. First of all, we have to calculate so-called uh, overhead absorption rate or overhead allocation rate. So we assume that uh, all budgeted indirect overheads in amount of 600,000 should be allocated on the basis of number of labor hours, of course, budgeted. The companies calculate that allocation or absorption rate at the beginning of production period, the beginning of business season, in order to be able to calculate the full cost of any job provided to the customers, to the public. So it would be budgeted allocation rate. Uh, the first one on the labor hours, as we just discussed, and the second one on the basis of direct machine hours, which are given. So let's calculate both of them. I will change the color, and the first one uh, would be 600,000 pounds of indirect costs from here should be divided by the total direct labor hours budgeted for the period taken from here. Eventually, it would give us 48 pounds per labor hour. The same should be done with the machine hours. I will change the color one more time. Uh, the same amount of total indirect overheads, total indirect costs, 600,000, should be divided now by the budgeted machine hours in amount of 14,000. 14,000 hours goes here, and the result is 42. No, almost 86 pounds per machine hour. As we always discuss, normally production overheads consist of electricity, rent, depreciation, etc. etc. 
the more labors, direct labors work, the more overheads incurred. The same for machines. If our business is fully or mostly automated, we can talk about machine hours as a cost driver. The more machine work, uh, machines work, the more machines work, the more electricity is spent, the more depreciation is charged, the more rent is paid because the longer the period the machines work, the more rent should be paid. That's why we call it cost driver. And it's like, uh, could be explained why we allocate the total amount of overheads comprised out of rent, electricity, depreciation on the basis of machine or labor hours. It uh, depends um, on the question, what is the real cost driver for our business? Okay, so we have just calculated so-called absorption or allocation rate. And now we have to choose one of them in order to calculate either total cost, including the overheads allocated on the base of labor hours or machine hours. As I said before, we have to include in total cost, first of all, materials and labor, which are prime costs. So what was the total cost of materials for that particular job? The total cost of material used uh, is given. I will show you the arrow. That amount should be here. 32 pounds and 100, 32,000 pounds and 100. And then we have to calculate the total cost of labor, but we are given with the total hours worked by the workers, 305 hours, and we have to find the rate. It's not uh, given the rate per hour, but we can find it because the total budget for labor cost for the certain business period is 260 thousand pounds and the total amount of budgeted uh, hours for the certain business period is twelve and a half thousand and if we divide uh, the total budget by the hours budgeted we can find the rate which is charged for each hour by workers and they wait for their payment this is 12 uh, sorry 20.80 pounds per hour so we can easily find the total cost of labor for that particular road repair, which is 6,344. And uh, we can calculate prime cost of the job. Prime cost of the job is 38,444 pounds. And then we have to include indirect costs. The first method, is to allocate indirect costs on the basis of labor hours. So I will write down indirect overheads on the basis of labor hours. As I said before, the total amount of labor hours for that particular job was 305. So we have to I will use that side. So we have to use the same amount of hours, the same hours spent, 305, and multiply it now by the allocation rate we have just calculated. By the allocation rate of 48 pounds per hour, because we consider labor hours to be cost driver. That means that each hour of workers' time um, requires that amount of overheads, electricity, rent, depreciation, etc., etc. 48. So the total overheads allocated to that job would be 14. 640. And now we can calculate total or full cost, total or full cost of the job. What is not the answer? Total cost should be marked up with 40%, as it said in the awarding of the problem, in order to find price. In order to answer the question, we have to find price. So the total cost is 53 
84 plus 40% markup. And markup works like we have to take 40% of cost, just calculate it and add it to, add, uh, to that cost or multiply cost by 1.4 in order to find the final selling price. But I will use the first method in order to receive selling price. which should be charged to the local authorities for road repair, 74,318 pounds. So this is the price. If we use the second method, with the overheads allocated on the basis of uh, machine hours, the total prime cost would be the same. So I can basically copy it from here. Prime cost could be copied. And then we have to add indirect overheads on the basis of, I will copy the wording and then change uh, labor hours on machine hours. We have to add overheads allocated on the basis of machine hours. So for the purposes of that allocation, we have to know the amount of machine hours spent on that road repair. 75 hours. So we have to multiply 75 hours by the allocation rate, which we have calculated for the cost driver machine hours. That one, 42. 86 42.86 and it eventually leads to 3215 as a direct cost to be added in order to calculate total costs total cost equal 41 659 and if we add 40 percent markup the selling price would be 58323 and the markup here is 16664 so this is basically the answer for that problem and if we are to choose the correct answer in multiple choice uh, section, I don't have it here, but the correct answers would be 74,318 if we use labor hours as the basis for allocation of overheads and 58,323 if we use machine hours for the purposes of overheads allocation. And now I suggest you to solve the same question, number 10 from University of London final exam 2019, but zone B. The same, almost the same wording, but with different amounts given. And in three, four minutes, uh, I'll wait for your answers in the poll. And I will show you the solution in order you can check yourself. So it's time for solution and solution you can see here in the same format we have just used. So the calculations are the same and the correct answers are 100,699 if we use direct labor as the basis for allocation uh, for the purpose of calculating full cost and selling price and almost 30,000 pounds lower the selling price if we use machine hours for the purposes of allocation in direct costs overheads in order to calculate full cost, which we mark up subsequently in order to receive selling price. So basically, that are answers.